On the onset of the Ladakh standoff, frequent Chinese incursions and border tensions with our neighboring countries, India inducts the twin engine, most sophisticated fighter jet. On the historic day of 29 July 2020, the first five Indian Air Force Rafale arrived at the Air Force Station Ambala after the aircraft got airborne from Dassault Aviation Facility, Marignac, France, on the morning of 27 July 2020. On an official announcement, the Indian Air Force deeply appreciated the proactive support provided by the French government to ensure timely delivery. The tanker support extended by French Air Force during the ferry was crucial in ensuring that the long-haul flight was accomplished successfully and in a time-bound manner. The aircraft would be part of 17 Squadron, the Golden Arrows, which was resurrected on 10 September 2019. The squadron was originally raised at Air Force Station Ambala on the 1st of October 1951. 17 Squadron has many firsts to its credit. In 1955, it was equipped with the first jet fighter, the legendary De Havilland Vampire. In August 1957, the Squadron became the first to convert onto a swept wing fighter, the Hawker Hunter. The Rafale fighter plane includes three single-seater and two twin-seater aircraft. Indian Air Force air crew and ground crew have undergone comprehensive training on the aircraft, including its highly advanced weapons system and are fully operational now. Efforts are on to focus on operationalization of the aircraft at the earliest. Indian Air Force awaits the delivery of all 36 Rafale jets by 2021. The state-of-the-art 4.5 generation Rafale jet can reach almost double the speed of sound with multi-role capabilities including electronic warfare, air defense, ground support and in-depth strikes. The Rafale lends air superiority to the Indian Air Force. While China's J-20 Chengdu jets are called fifth generation combat jets, Compared to 4.5 generation Rafale, the J-20 have no actual combat experience, whereas the Rafale is combat proven, having been used by the French Air Force for its missions in Afghanistan, Libya and Mali. It has also been used for missions in Central African Republic, Iraq and Syria. 
Rafale can also carry more fuel and weapons than J-20. Each aircraft has 14 storage stations for weapons. The jets come with one of the most advanced Meteor air-to-air -air missiles. The 190 kg missile has a beyond visual range BVR of over 100 kilometers, traveling at a top speed of Mach 4. The F-16 jets used by Pakistan carry the Amran missile, which has a BVR of 75 kilometers. Additionally, Rafale can also outperform Pakistan's F-16 in top fights. The Rafale jets also come with SCALP, the air-to-ground cruise missile with a range of over 300 kilometers. It is a long-range deep strike missile. The MICA air-to-air -air missile on Rafale is for both close quarter dog fights and for BVR. At the last minute, India has also asked for Hammer, highly agile and maneuverable munition extended range, which is an air-to-ground precision-guided missile produced by French conglomerate Safran and can be used against bunker-type hardened targets within the range of 70 kilometers. I have no doubt that the aircraft capabilities combined with the commitment and zeal of the Golden Arrows would make a lethal combination and I expect the Golden Arrows to intimidate and dominate whenever and wherever employed. Jai Hind! Military aviation is undoubtedly the most strategic weapon today, both in terms of combat effectiveness and of critical technologies implemented. In modern warfare, air dominance from day one is a must, so that air-to-ground and air-to-sea operations can be conducted safely and efficiently.